Uh, we should talk about Will Ospreay as well. You know, Will Ospreay did that uh, interview on the stage with Renee Paquette that I thought was really good. Uh, the second half of it was tremendous because it was all about Danielson and his match there. And I love, I've been saying this lately, I absolutely love hearing Will Ospreay speak. I love his tone, his cadence, his accent, all of that stuff. He just comes off like a star. He's entertaining as all hell on the mic. And... My only issue with this, maybe, uh, was the timing of this. I think for Osprey to clap back at Triple H, the comments that Triple H made, he was well within his rights to do that because I think Triple H was an asshole, what he said. But you have to you have to question the timing and the place here. Uh, this happened after, right? Wasn't this after the CM Punk stuff? So right after you do all of that, you're now going to be drawing yet more attention to WWE again. And, you know, there I've talked about this before. There is a line. You know, the fans that are tribal are just going to say, you shouldn't mention the other competition just because they need it to fit in whatever side they're on. I'm okay with back and forth shots. I like back and forth shots. I want them. I welcome them. You know, but, and I have no problem with the companies acknowledging the other's existence from time to time. It's fun for fans. For fans who aren't tribal and have got their heads all the way up their own asses and up into their own ribs, it's really fun when that stuff happens. But like I said, there's a limit to it and you can't do that too much. And I think one of the biggest issues I had in back in the day when I first started this channel with TNA is too much of that. Taking the cookies to SmackDown and stuff. I'm like, what are you guys doing? You look like idiots. This is why you're garbage is because of shit like this. Because you got a whole bunch of talent there. And you've got a fan base. You've got talent and you've got a fan base there, desperate, thirsty for something else other than WWE. And here you are, just like Paul Heyman or ECW back in the day, just hanging on every word, reacting to everything they do. One of those Highlanders showed up, remember, in the crowd and they showed them on camera and shit. And you have an audience base there that wants you because you're different. And you're doing nothing but alienating those audience members now starting to get that feeling sometimes with AEW a little bit. And even though I love Will Ospreay, he's one of my favorites, if not my favorite in the game right now, at least in AEW he is, uh, you, you have to question on maybe the timing here because this happened right after the punk stuff. Now you're doing it again. And you have to remember, and, and first of all, what Ospreay said was great, you know, because Triple H in that interview mentioned something about, you know, somebody doesn't want the grind. I don't want them anyway. And Osprey clapped back. Well, you were grinding on the boss's door and all that. That was great. I liked that. And that was a shot sent back to Triple H that was definitely deserved. But think about where Triple H made his comment compared to where Will Ospreay made his. Triple H was doing an ass load of media podcast interviews was it was uh was the osprey stuff on pat mcafee i forgot where it was but bottom line is wrestlemania week and weekend if you are in wwe you are going to be doing nothing but media constant back-to-back -back, one after another interviews and you're going to be talking about everything there are a lot of people who probably did not even hear triple h say that you could be saying to yourself what the hell is he talking about <laughs> i don't even know what he's talking about what the hell is Osprey even saying here? You know, Triple H kind of said it just in an interview or a podcast. And then Osprey decides to respond on national cable TV. I don't know. Maybe Osprey should have waited until he was interviewed by a podcast or something to send that shot back. Might have been better. I'll admit that. But the line was still good. Uh I do not believe this narrative that Renee was all embarrassed. No, she wasn't. Renee is married to John Moxley. Renee knows full well all of the problems and frustrations that one can have with WWE. She was treated horribly by, by Vince McMahon. Remember the whole lineal champion thing? Just look that up. I don't think she gives a shit, you know? And so with Triple H, I'm sh she has a great relationship with him. She has a great relationship with Stephanie, but she's just the interviewer. It has nothing to do with her. She's the girl with the stick, man. You know, so she kind of made that face like, mm, you know, uh, I don't think that she was uncomfortable or embarrassed at all. I do think Tony Schiavone was, though. Tony Schiavone, you could see it written all over his face. You know why? Because he was in WCW at the end and he remembers some some moments of desperation that that company had. And there's a lot of uh, there was a lot of uh, AEW is WCW 2000 comparisons going on this week as well, which it's not that bad. Uh, we are not at, at WCW 2000 levels. 
yet. <laughs> Let's hope we don't get there. But like I said, he has every right to make that rebuttal because of how shitty the comment was. I, I don't care what you say. That was a dick thing to say by Triple H. And it's it's frustrating and, you know, almost like offensive because of this shitty assumption. Triple H is somebody I want to respect. You know, you shouldn't be this mad about Osprey choosing another promotion or much less not necessarily choosing another promotion, just making a personal decision for himself and his family. You don't know this man. Who are you to assume this man's whole life? It just mean he must not be interested in the grind. It just mean he must not really, really be in this for the long haul. If he just wants to take less, more money and less and less work dates. Or it could be that he has a family and he lives in the UK and he doesn't want to uproot his family, which he would have to do if he signed with WWE. Therefore, AEW was a better fit for him and his family. You fucking asshole. You fucking asshole. Triple H was a fucking asshole for saying that. And Will Ospreay had every right to send something back. I just maybe would have done it somewhere else instead of Dynamite on the same show that you're already drawing attention to CM Punk. Because the two biggest, most talked about segments for the most part coming out of Dynamite is what they showed Punk do and what, they sh when, and what Ospreay said. And both of those was about people in the other company. That's not really what you want to be doing, in my opinion.